So today, today we have um, our ninth community call, which is great. It's a uh, one year of community calls. It's uh, it's good. Uh, we hope that they are um, useful for sure. Some of them were quite useful for some of you. Others not so much. But um, the idea of these community calls is always to to um, to to share with you. Uh, with those that are providers uh, of um, uh, content to open air, to share with you the developments, the issues that we have, the um, the novelties that we have to share with you, and uh, and also to 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 collect and to to welcome your your feedback about um, the service. But today we can say that we have um, a special a special call. Um, we have in our in our um, in our minds two or three topics that we want to to discuss in the coming um, in the coming uh, calls but today we have decided to have a more interactive session i hope that you can provide your opinion about what do you think they are the critical the critical um, features uh, for the future of this of this service uh, what are your ideas about the, if you have any anything from a kind of wish list functionalities wish list that uh, you would like to to contribute to so ideas for the, for the service um so in the second part of this call i have two or three slides in in mentimeter to welcome your feedback i hope that you can collaborate and, and contribute but feel free for sure to to turn on your camera and microphone and, and contribute uh, and as as for the, all the other um, community calls, we have always a moment that we would like to share um, some of the recent developments. Um, uh, so you can also put in your put in. Uh, let me ask Andre to share here in the chat the link for the notes and the agenda uh, where you can provide your feedback and comments we will put always the um, the link for the, the slides and the recording we can also um, uh, share so be aware of that but let, let's start with just uh, three three things that we want to to highlight from 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 recent developments or novelties to share with you do you remember that the last call uh, was dedicated to the um, this um, changes that we are uh, preparing in, in, in our uh, broker service uh, related with the enrichment uh, metadata events and the way that we we collect and offer the service to you. Um, uh, I, we, we, we cannot have today uh, Claudio Azzori with us to provide us an, an update, but uh, we are aware that um, um, things are almost finalized the developments and uh, then we will have time in november to put it in production uh, it's uh, it's always uh, critical when i promise something for the current month and maybe stefania Steph my colleague stefania from the technical team and one of the managers of of provide uh, he's here with us um, <laughs> will complain with me but uh, I hope that we can deliver by the end of the month uh, if not really at the end we can do it early in December but I, I, I think we can promise for, for November a way to to, to present this um, uh, so, so uh, not a way so to present this um, new way of delivering events in, in production uh, and also the public API with the, the the events um this is the promise that we have and and then and the, and the technical team in uh, in open air from uh, from um, from uh, italy from cnrst uh, together with the uh, uh, our colleagues in, in greece atina uh, for sure so they are doing an extra effort to 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 provide this um if if i just put here a, a slide just for uh, those that were not in our last call just to explain what are the main changes here related with this way of um, new way of um, delivering the metadata events 
um, uh, and to we have we have in this uh, phase one uh, the identification you, in our broker service the identification of the of the metadata enrichments. You are aware that we have different types of of, of metadata enrichments uh, divided in more and in missing uh, things that uh, you may have in your repository, and, we, and we, we are providing more information in things that you are missing you don't have in your repository and we identify metadata enrichments for your records um, links to projects open access versions uh, abstracts uh, in the metadata etc and the, what the changes here is that here where you see notifications event the top 100 this is the the main change so what we we are doing right now for um, a question of scalability of our service and um, and then and quality of delivering the service is that what we will you will see in the in the in the pro in the dashboard on the area of the, the, the metadata enrichments is only the the 100 it's a sample of 100 um, metadata events um, uh, concerning that specific type okay and then if you want to have all that we have for you you need to subscribe so for those that have already subscribed some events you will see all events but for those that didn't have subscribed yet so what you are going to see is 100 links to projects or 100 uh, pids uh, that uh, you don't have in your repository and then if you want to see it all but you will see okay 100 from uh, 1500 so you will be aware that uh, <coughs> Sorry, we have 100, 1,500 total enrichment events for that specific type, but we can only offer to you 100. Uh, uh, for now, if you subscribe, you will see it all. Okay, this is the main change, and we will provide the information in the, in the public API to be consumed by uh, your your. Um, repositories or the, the services that you want to develop using the, the API in the dashboard. So you create uh, the subscription as, as this, this diagram represents in phase two. And then you will see uh, in the in the in the notifications area the all the um, the events related with the the type of subscription that we did if it's a, a subscription for all metadata enrichments related with that type or if we have any filter by date or, or by other thing so this is the the novelty um for those that are more experienced in, uh, using this this area of of the provide you may think okay it's a, it's it's a, it's um uh it's a kind of uh, so we are losing uh, uh, any uh, information uh, so it, it may have true it, it, it's true but in fact uh, with all the expansion uh, of our research graph we have much more content and we generate billions of um, events of metadata enrichment events so we need to to properly manage our infrastructure and for a question of scalability we have we took this decision i think uh in, immediately we think that you will lose something but in fact it, it, it's something better for for the end user and we hope that we can uh, put it in a clear way in the dashboard then we will ask you for feedback maybe in the in the coming in the next community call early december you have already a way to check that and provide us feedback so just to to remind some of you that have also joined uh, in the previous um in the previous session but i'm aware that there are several people here today that we were not in the previous session where we had um, where we had claudio and claudio have explained this in into detail so the other thing uh, is um that there are uh, some some slightly changes in the in in the dashboard uh, user interface and things related with the the registration uh, so the area of um, updating the information of your repository um, so you can have a, a, when if you do an update you will, will have a field to, to send a comment to send a message to the 
aggregation team to the open air aggregation team we, we, we realized that uh, we have some uh, issues in, in terms of communication with the end user uh, when they update because this is not clear for the aggregation team what was really the update and then we need to use uh, other channels and the uh, help desk to to better communicate so we decided to do to improve this um, uh, we have it in beta we just need to ensure that we put it in production soon uh, but this will be available soon you can check um, <clears throat> some of you are aware also of the um, the changes also for scalability reasons that we we did in our um, user statistics service uh, so um, we have a new uh, uh, a new infrastructure to manage a new backend infrastructure to manage uh, this service and we are in the process of migrating uh, all the data which uh, as we are in production uh, which make us to be not um, uh, fully aligned with the information that there is uh, available to you in the dashboard there are some issues uh, uh, in some repositories have already the information fully correct other repositories uh, don't have so uh, some repositories will find information uh, really up to date to uh, october 2020 but others will find information uh, old information but so we are migrating uh, this data the information we have um, is that this will be completed during November. So, in fact, the coming call in December, we wanted to have about the user statistics. So, for that, for, for, by that moment, we these issues will be already solved. Uh, and um, we have already talked with some some repositories that the information is is, is working well you can also apply for reports socialite reports etc but in some cases it's not working well okay this is what we want to highlight uh, maybe maybe we can also share um, not sure if you if you can see maybe maybe, maybe andre we can also share the the link to the users counts website uh, just to people it's a new website where you can check for the useful information about the service to understand the, the service uh, we uh, as you know we, we we are trying to to make all our processes more uh, clear to you to the end users uh, we want to 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 be more transparent in terms of uh, all our processes and our information so we have um, we have done some new websites concerning specific services and one of those uh, websites uh, it's the user accounts uh, open air so that you see now um, i'm sharing my screen so this is the website where you can check uh, the way it works uh, what are the what are the, the the way this service it works and uh, uh, what we are delivering in this this service so we did also a, a website for the graph uh, andrea will share it also graph.openair.eu and this is in the same uh, the, the line is the same is is to 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 provide uh, all the needed information about the, the services so it's we, we have the information in provide uh, the support information but then it's important to have some other websites to, to provide this information and the uses uses counts uh, website it's to explain all the services all the the, um, the relevant information around uses counts okay um please feel free to ask questions um if you have here in the chat about any issue that you have with your repository if, if if i am not um, able to answer for sure there are some colleagues here with me in the call that uh, may be available to to reply or if we cannot reply so for sure you will have an answer from us um today or tomorrow uh, by our technical team um we did uh, during um during um october uh, uh, open air have organized the open air week uh, with um, 
in the week before of the open access week so every every day we had a session and one of the sessions on the third day of that week uh, was um, related with the provide and the guidelines the user journey in provide and, and the interoperability guidelines so the recordings are available uh, and the presentations so if you were not able to to saw this this session to follow this session so you can check the recordings and if you think that there is someone interested in your institution to know more about this just share this link with with them um, i think the session went quite well and uh, and uh, and uh, we can say that it's time to celebrate um, uh, this is the the ninth um, community call and we have started in uh, in, in uh, one year ago uh, so we have organized eight community calls we missed the so the summer uh, community calls during the july and the and august also we didn't organize a, a, a community call in january so we have already one year of activity uh, the the main idea is in fact that you are all part of open air you are open air so the, a data source is part of open air a repository manager uh, uh, an open access journal uh, editor uh, a data archive manager a Chris system manager is part of open air so feel part of open air so feel part of this community and participate in this community call so we have discussed the um, six main topics trying to address the different components of the provide from the research graph to the broker service um, we did also one detail about the all the aggregation workflow uh, in open air so six topics already discussed it in total uh, more than 300 people have joined um, uh, and uh, and um, so we had several speakers from open air and even some people outside of open air from some of you that we have invited to to share uh, your experience so we had also in that uh, some to share some music is crazy so we want to keep these community calls i think they are important uh, uh, for our transparency to to be closer to you to you to welcome your feedback so let's keep with this community calls so now let's let's try to have um, we don't need to spend one hour uh, in this call but i think it's important if we allocate 15 20 minutes and then we can finish a little bit early uh, let's let's um, try to 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 check for your feedback and please feel free to put your camera and microphone on to, to share your thoughts uh, uh, but uh, here the basic idea is to welcome your feedback I, I have three Mentimeters to share with you but think about uh, what are the the features functionalities that you would like to have in in, in provide that they are not here or improvements that we should have uh so think about that um, and then share with with me uh, before that i would just try to as i think we have already received some questions in previous um, community calls uh, about the future of the service uh, as open air will open air advanced project will end in february next year uh, so people start asking uh, about the sustainability and the continuation of this kind of services so be sure that provide open air is here to stay uh, open air in terms of uh, of of, of uh, an infrastructure will be insured by uh, amca by uh, an organization so we have a legal entity now um with our, with uh, more than uh, 20 members from different countries um and uh, open air services will be uh, are and will be part of the 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 european open science cloud uh, and uh, this is uh, a slide that usually uh, uh, our our um, open air directors and uh, the technical director paulo mangi and, and our director natalia manola usually use and i i pick up this slide just to to explain that uh, provide as you can see here 
in this diagram have an important um, an important um, place role in the in the in this uh, European Open Science landscape. So the idea is that um, uh, we will have uh, different data sources in this uh, in this environment in this landscape in this European Open Science Cloud. And uh, uh, the open air providers, the open air data sources, will be data sources of EOSC via open air providers. Okay, this is important to state, and this is clear. Uh, within a, um, a different um, project, there are several EOSC related projects, as, as you know, um, thematic clusters, uh, infrastructure projects, and regional projects. Some of you are, are involved in some of these projects. In, in another project, in the EOSC Enhanced project, uh, they are developing guidelines um, for these data sources compliance in, in EOSC, and, uh, and, and um, they follow uh, our, the, the open air guidelines and, and the open air data model uh, will be integrated, be embedded in this in these guidelines. So be sure that um, if you are part of open air, if you are part uh, of open air provide, you uh, will be um, part of the European Open Science Cloud, uh, and uh, we will have in the, in the development of the future of EOSC scientific product catalog that will rely in the open air research graph and open air research graph. Um, additional to other things is is relying in your content in the content from the different data sources from open air so uh, i think this is important to state uh, be aware of that um, uh, for that reason via different uh, eosc related projects so the the the, 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 the provide services is, is sustainable for the coming years um, and this compliance will be supported uh, by open air that will be here uh, to support you uh, as, as as providers of open air and, and providers of EOSC via open air and then and, and, and because of that then we will have this uh, this uh, uh, we can provide different services um, as you are aware about other kinds of services uh, the discovery service in explore or the different functionalities that we have in explore the monitor for uh, funders and institutions all the apis so will be available uh, in this in our ecosystem in open air ecosystem and the and the important components of this scientific product catalog uh, will be inside the european open science club so in a, in a simplified way, <laughs> maybe Paolo Mang and Natalia Manola were, uh, can explain a bit a little bit better. But in a simplified way, this is a way to explicitly say so we are here to stay uh, and provide its important uh, gateway to um, it's a, an important entry point. Sorry to to, to the EOSC. Um, I have another slide. Um, uh, another diagram uh, explaining things in a different way uh, different services that we we have uh, that we will also build in future projects uh, uh, that is there will be uh, an upcoming project also only for the technical part of open air that will be open air nexus that will start um, next year uh, where you can see this layer on the bottom here, where we have the, the APIs, the research graph construction, and um, the provide uh, that are here in this in this in this this um, ecosystem uh, of, of 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 services uh, with the with the, the the pillars of all the the, the services that we are we are offering and they are part of uh, as you can see eosc data sources so they are part of this uh, idea of the eosc data sources so this is just two slides to explicitly say where are we so uh, what is our place and role in the european open science cloud and be aware that we are doing important developments uh, in 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 future projects in this new project open air nexus this is small projects targeting specific developments 
technical developments and the interactions with other services where the layer of, 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 of our graph and provider are the the, uh, the pillar uh, are the pillars of, of these developments let's 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 use some minutes to to receive your feedback um, so let me check I need to put the um, the uh, present okay um i hope that some of you can join me in this in this mentimeter in order to 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 feel that there are uh, interactions uh, with me uh, with the uh, people to work with me let me close my skype let me check if this is working i hope that this is working so go to menti to menti.com and put this this code uh, of course we don't need to record everything in in menti just um, uh, go to menti.com eight okay okay it's working so if we can have more people um, with me just to go there just to click in the in the like button in order um, to to be to be aware that you are in at least 10 persons okay perfect let's let's wait a little bit more so you can you can uh, connect this menti um, i will have an open question but let's start with a, a simple question just to, to to for you to start thinking about uh, about uh, the way that you see this service how to assess how do you evaluate this um, the, the the service uh how, how do you globally assess the value or the interest of the dashboard for content providers so the dashboard is available um since october 2018 we have improved it during 2019 we have released a new uh, uh, interface version in uh, in may 2020 uh, uh, so for sure you have um, some well seed interaction with the service uh, and other things no let me reply here to the skype that are people waiting for me Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for your reactions. Uh, or, or if you okay, so people are uh, more or less happy <laughs> with the the way that you can use the enrichment metadata and the. Uh, and um, uh, and um, and the validator and the broker and the results of the broker service, but not, but not so much with uh, the user statistics, uh, which is which is uh, correct because uh, we put in production this service with um, some some gaps and we have improved it uh, in production, which is not uh, which is not good, uh, but um, so we are here to to fix and we are here to improve and for sure everything will be uh, much much better in the in the, in the future
Okay, thank you. Thank you for your replies. At least we have 10. Uh, thank you. Um, feel free to now 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 it's it's a moment that i would like to have your uh, uh, we can record here in this mentimeter uh, about um, uh, if you have any request any particular request if you uh, want to share um desire from you to 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 have an update here in the in the provide service uh, any new functionality any particular request uh, or even if we want to share the expectation how do you see the development of this service feel free to to write but also please join me feel free to to turn on your camera and share with me uh, your thoughts we have um, almost 30 participants here from different countries uh, so feel free to, to to share your ideas so this will be great having only pedro sharing his thoughts is not really a, a community thing <laughs> it's an individual so if you want to join and uh, to say something uh, even if you don't want to write it just uh, feel free um based on your experience uh, or even in your um, successful or unsuccessful experience with our services feel free to join um, and to give your your opinion uh, this is what we thought uh, for this community call to share this uh, this recent developments novelties uh, to better explain the, um, the changes that we are doing in the broker to explain you the place of provide in the development of yosk and as a yosk data source um, and now some time to also to welcome your feedback at least I would like to to finish uh, the call a bit early. We don't need to spend one hour, but I think it's important. So if you if you have something to say, uh, just jump in um, and share. And uh, even if there are other colleagues uh, from Open Air that want to highlight something, that just just uh, feel free to to say. Uh, and uh, so. Okay, thank you for the first um, the first input, and uh, and this is true. Um, in some cases, I'm not sure if uh, uh, in in some uh, for some cases of some repository managers, we know that they they don't receive uh, the alerts, um, uh, and uh, one of the um, not the only reason, but one of the reasons uh, um, to, to do improvements that we did for for the broker that I have already explained explained in the beginning of this this call was also related with this uh, with these bugs on on the notifications and with um, the errors that we found evaluating some of the feedback, some of the users' feedback about the um, the um, some errors in the notifications uh, emails were not sending out so we have started analyzing and, um, and then with this increase this expansion of the graph we have realized okay we need to change um, and we have decided to to put this new workflow in place of the the the, the top uh, the top the 100 uh, events and then subscribe and send it and we hope with that we can fix that we can uh, for sure we need to have your feedback in the coming uh, two months about if if you are receiving or not but i hope that we can fix that and thank you for this feedback it's quite important and useful um, from my experience the validator for a open air crease is not working very well are there any plans to improve fix that so um, thank you for the the feedback uh we did the first uh, release of the of, of the validator for chris after some tests not uh, sufficient test to put something um, 
uh, 100% sure in production, but we have released it because we thought it was important to start already testing uh, the, the compliance. Uh, but I, we know that this is not perfect. Uh, this is why we, we don't have it yet also in the... Um, we don't have yet the registration workflow for, for Chris because we also, so additional to the registration and we need to have a directory for that, we also run validation. Um, but maybe maybe some of my colleagues um, also uh, from the aggregation team can say something uh, about because we, I am aware that uh, we want to improve this, 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 this validator. But thank you for your feedback. Um, yeah, more export functionalities. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is important. Uh, so from within this um, release of this new way of delivering the events, uh, we are delivering this new API, and we are delivering the possibility to download uh, the also the the CSV file with the events. I hope that we can deliver that on time and uh, in a in a way that uh, it's a benefit for 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 you, uh, repository manager, to allow to manage for the same repository. This is important. Stefania, do you want to help me and say something about this multi multi user access? I know that you are not the the right person to ask you the. the that but i think you can help me or if you have something useful to say or because we had this in, since our 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 plans but it was not a priority as we had any other issues but this this the thing it's it's quite important and i think we have already found a solution to address this issue faster than we thought initially yes uh hi stephanie here hi, uh, stephanie, thank you uh, we do have a solution for that. Uh, uh, we had uh, priority to to release the new book uh, implementation uh, in beta, so we can move to production as well as some uh, uh, changes in the registration workflow. Uh, but uh, if we agree that this is the next priority, we can uh, go on with that as our top priority for the next release. Great, thank you. thank you. Thank you very much for, for, for joining me and then to share this. Uh, for sure, um, I think this, this should be a priority because there are lots of people requesting this um, and uh, it should be on the top three priorities because if it's not a big effort, I think we should put it. Um, yeah, implementing the possibility of, of of make the enrichment of our content more automatic. Yeah, thank you very much to share this also. Um, this is important. Uh, what I I want to say about this is the following. Um, uh, as you know, uh, you may know, I'm, I'm not sure if you, if, if, if you clear know, Open Air um, uh, um, open, um, uh, tender, tenders call uh, in 2019 and, um, and, and several um, companies, uh, research groups have applied. And uh, one of the companies that have applied and that, have, that is, is in fact developing a, a service is uh, for science. And for science is uh, developing a, a way to um, developing a, a, an update uh, and the functionality in their um, uh, this space crease uh, installations uh, to consume the broker events and to automatically ingest in the metadata and the possibility for you to to update uh, the the record so and uh, for sure this will be okay we can say that this will be from the tender on the coming year will be available only for this space crease installations but the way they they did it it's easy also to 
implement maybe for some other uh, versions of, of of this space and the concept i think it can be can be reused in other in other open source softwares or in other solutions i think this is this is important um, thank you for the, this um, even if it's only five inputs, they are really, really important, and I hope that my colleagues uh, like to hear. Uh, I, th I think the Andreas is here. And Andreas, I don't know if you want to say something or uh, if you need, if you want to say something about the, the need of uh, improving a bit the validator. Um, uh, it's not uh, it's not your responsibility, the validator, uh, but um, as you are in charge of. of the guidelines we may have we may run some tests and then then collect some more feedback about this and you, we can we can improve a bit the validator if you think that is useful to share your opinion please join me and share if not i will i will i will um, let me let me let me open the um, i will just stop my screen for a second just to 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 find here i think it's useful based on this comment based on this comment uh, that you raised from um, about the the way to automatic consume uh, let me let me yeah I, I found it let me let me just um, i see uh, andreas that your audio is on but I cannot hear you. So sorry for that. Yes, I cannot hear you. There is a noise. Let me just share with you. This is not, a, I cannot advertise this too much. I hope that we can have a community call in January dedicated to uh, this use case, to the um, what I have told you about the that the for science uh, is is doing. Uh, these slides are um, this is from a development uh, that they are doing. Um, I'm not sure if I'm 100% authorized to, <laughs> to 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 disseminate this, but we we are in a community call and um, we are all a community, and I think this is important. Just for you to to see, uh, because I did some print screens. Uh, just for you to, and I hope that this is useful for you. You can see, um, uh, for example, here that the way that they are doing is that uh, consuming our broker API. So they receive. They are integrated here in the in the deposit workflow in the in this space uh, crease. Okay, and you can see. Okay that they have here suggesting from the broker related with the enrichment missing project. And then you can ignore the suggestion, re, uh, uh, reject the suggestion or, 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 impro, uh, or import. For the project, uh, let me check if I have another example. Uh, okay. I just did some print screens. It was, this, this was um, a meeting last week. So yeah, you can see that, um, the the idea the concept that for science is implementing is that the repository manager the CRI system manager can manage what are the enrichments that they want to have uh, then they check the enrichments if they select the enrichment missing project they will see this and they if they want to import this will open the record and the edit mode of the record and they can update the record based on the suggestions from the broker this is a um, an example so of course open air can support this but this is quite difficult to ensure this is a community driven development for sure because what we need is to have a close relation between, between open air and the software platforms we have, via the tender we have the possibility to have a close relation between a company and open air that are offering services for a specific uh, software platform, the space create system, and this is, uh, I think, great. The, the the work they are doing. Uh, you you see an example here. If you want to import the the data of of, of, of a project and the way that it, it looks, uh, I just want to give this information and to share with you. 
I will send an email to to the for science to say that I have used three or four minutes from this call to share the um, this uh, development um, they are doing. Um, they are in this. They are finalizing the second phase and they are moving for the third phase where they are going to test with some uh, real installations, some clients, let's say. And, um, okay, thank you very much for your um, for your input. Um, uh, I hope that this uh, this your, your, uh, was useful. If you have something to, to say, I will keep this uh, this Mentimeter open, you can write after the um, after the call. Um, I don't want to, to lose much more time uh, from your time, but thank you very much. The, the contributions were quite important for us. Thank you very much. And I hope that in the coming call, some of these suggestions that you made, we can give you some updates. And for sure, during the coming year, some of the other, uh, because all, all comments that you made are feasible things, so I think we can address them. Um, and thank you, and thank you for that. So uh, you can also contribute to the ways how, how you see to optimize this also things between the, the 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 exchange of metadata and full text. This is something more related with the aggregation and the and the, and the guidelines and the the, the, the aggregation processes. Um, this is not the core of this call, but I, I just wanted to put this question. The Mentimeter is open. You can write during the afternoon if you want. Provide here some comments. So feel free to to do that. Uh, and um, and with the uh, uh, saying thanks for your contribution, I will just um, finish the, finish this uh, call. Once again, saying that uh, all the recordings and the slides that we usually do and, and uh, use and present in the community calls are, are available in, in our specific page. So you can, after the um, uh, after after the community call, see the recordings or share with your colleagues if they are available in the newsletter. So every um, first uh, Monday, Tuesday, usually Tuesday of the month we send out this newsletter uh, if you don't receive it please check in your spam or if you don't receive it is because you need to 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 subscribe and please subscribe come to openair.eu newsletter provide um, slash newsletter provide and you will have access to the to the subscription of this newsletter and also to all the the other newsletters so we we always want to align the newsletter release uh, publication and and the community calls. So feel free also to to share with your colleagues this newsletter and to, with other colleagues in your institutions or in your country. And uh, and, and many thanks for your um, for your contribution for this uh, community call. Thank you for my colleague Andre that is always available here to support. If you encountered any issue, I always say this, uh, with the uh, login to the um, to the dashboard, okay, please send a direct email to, you can use the help desk, of course, uh, but you send a direct email to Andre. Andre will share the email here also in the call because we always do it. Um, and, um, and with this, uh, if you don't have any comment, uh, uh, any question, any urgent issue to solve it in um, in our provide, I, th I think I think we can uh, finish. You already heard a lot of time my voice, so this is time to <laughs> to um, to say thank you for all of you that have joined this call. We will have the the upcoming call uh, in um, the first Wednesday of the month, so you can uh, check it in in our portal, Open Air. Then you go, and with this I finish the call, and you go to support under support. The um, there is a specific page for 
content providers community call where all the recordings are available and also uh, the, the upcoming calls. So uh, first of November and then the second of December we will have the um, the, the community call. So it's already scheduled. The second of December. See you on the second of December, if not before. Um, use the open air, uh, provide surveys, and provide us feedback because this is important. And we hope to have um, novelties during November related with the broker and the statistics. Okay, so I wait to have good news for you in December, also related with that service, and to have better evaluation of our user statistics also. And then, and then make it more useful the broker the notifications as you have asked so thank you very much and um have a nice rest of the day and um, the rest of the week okay bye bye all thank you very much